largest tax increase in the history of Allegheny County when he passed a drink tax in Allegheny County of 10 percent. And I think the people in Allegheny County are not very happy about it. <laughs> now, I'm going to wind up here real quickly with this observation, and, and Governor Christie really kind of teed it up. Yes, my career mostly has been a prosecutor. We make the tough decisions. But if you kind of look at the history of the state and the history of the country, there have been a lot of prosecutors who have become governors uh, across the country. Governor McDonald in Virginia, who was with us yesterday in Norristown, he's done a great job. He took a $4 billion deficit in this year alone and has erased it through cutting the spending, being tough. And he was Attorney General of Virginia. And you've seen what Governor Christie is doing in the 10 months that he's been in office. But let's talk about Pennsylvania. You know, one of my predecessors, Tom Ridge, was a prosecutor. Mm -hmm. I thought he did a pretty good job as governor, yep. putting us on the right track. So let me, let, let me talk to you one, one second about another prosecutor. I actually inherited his desk when I became U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Pennsylvania. He was U.S. Attorney, then he was Assistant Attorney General of the Criminal Division. Then he ran for office as governor. His name's Dick Thornburg. Remember him? Yeah. A great governor. <laughs> and there is no doubt in my mind <clears throat> that soon after he became governor, he faced, without a doubt, one of the most difficult crises that any governor in any state has ever faced with Three Mile Island in March of 1979. You might remember that. Yeah. But it was a prosecutor as governor who made the tough decisions not somebody who's been a county executive or who's been a mayor. And I look at the comparison between my opponent and his role model, Governor Rendell. Oh. No. You know, Dan's been, Dan has been the county executive of Allegheny County now since 2004, I believe. And you can follow his track record there. When we look at Governor Rendell, he was the mayor of Philadelphia. So he has that executive experience. If that's the kind of experience that he brought to Harrisburg, that Dan wants to bring to Harrisburg, do you want any of that experience? No. I didn't hear you. So let me ask you, are you ready to go out November 2nd and win this election for us? to win this race and start the change in Pennsylvania and the United States. Are you ready for that?